Assalamualaikum and hi, my group and I are from group 6 and we will be presenting about motivation and life productivity. And these are our members. Hi, I'm Nadia and I will be presenting to you a study that delves into the intricate relationship between motivation and life productivity. The psychological idea of motivation acts as a catalyst for goal-directed action, directing and maintaining it. Motivation is a crucial factor that impacts people's decisions, actions, and the amount of effort they put into different activities. Life productivity, on the other hand, extends beyond traditional measures. It involves striking a balance between different domains, including personal, academic, and social aspects. Productive life is characterized by the ability to set and achieve meaningful goals, make effective decisions, and maintain a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. Background of the study. The study recognizes that motivation is an ongoing process that involves external as well as internal aspects. Researchers aim to identify methods that people can use to improve their ability to lead productive and satisfying lives by looking at how these motivating factors affect life productivity. This study's foundation is the idea that interventions, methods, and personal development techniques aimed at producing successful and well-rounded people can be informed by sophisticated understanding of motivation and its connection to life productivity. Hi, my name is Fifina Hidayah and I will be explaining on the problem statement of our topic. In today's world, especially where the technology is growing rapidly, it indirectly impacts our life aspects. To a certain extent, motivation or determination of the person itself does play an important key in having a proactive and efficient life. And this is why gaining a deeper understanding of the role of motivation can be a huge help in increasing the level of life productivity of an individual. In order to resolve this issue of living an unproductive life, we're going to find out first some effective approaches to boost motivation levels within an individual, second, as well as practicable and idealistic strategies to keep life dynamic, and lastly also, we will look into with greater detail on how motivation is able to give a better life to someone. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Dr. Mishra. I will be explaining about Mrs. question. Firstly, is motivational complexity in academia and the workplace. This research is investigating how the motivation of students differ from that of employee in response to distinct challenges and responsibility. Number two is unraveling instinct motivator, personal interest, autonomy, and purpose. This research is analyzed how a student personal interest in a subject combined with the autonomy to explore it independently. This impacts their overall academic motivation and performance. Number three is unique challenges in academic and professional realms. This research in identify challenges such as academic pressure and exam for a student and the deadline and team dynamic for a profession. And the last one is probing intrinsic motivation in form of productivity. This research is investigating the correlation between external reward, the connection and the performance evaluation with the productivity level for the student and the employee. Hello everyone, my name is Nur Isha Yishira and I will be explaining about the aim of the study. The aim of this study is to examine the challenging connection between life productivity and motivation. Motivation plays a crucial role in encouraging people to establish and accomplish objectives, impacting their total productivity and accomplishments across multiple professions. This study aims to discover the key elements that significantly influence individuals' capacity to maintain high productivity levels across personal, professional, and academic aspects by systematically exploring motivating factors. Understanding this pattern is essential when developing targeted methods and interventions that might boost motivation and as a result lead to increased life productivity. 
Additionally, this study aims to investigate the complex interaction between inner and external motivations that influence life productivity results. Hello, I'm Nurin Adrina, so I'll be talking about the objective of the study. The first one is investigating the relationship between motivation and daily productivity. The second one is exploring methods to build motivation and maintain productivity involves finding strategies that can help individuals increase their motivation and sustain it over time. This includes setting realistic goals and creating a supportive environment and finding ways to regulate one's emotional state. The third one is emphasizing the role of motivation in achieving success across different areas of life. This includes examining the ways motivation impacts the ability to develop skills and form relationships. Individuals can better position themselves for success in any area they choose to pursue by understanding what motivation is. The next one is examining the influences on motivation in daily activities. It helps individuals gain insight into the sources of their motivation and potential barriers, which can inform strategies for overcoming those challenges. The last one is discovering creative and practical ways to motivate others and oneself. It is inspiration that enables them to achieve their goals and make meaningful contributions to their communities. Doing all of this will result in people work efficiently towards their goals, thus enhancing productivity and success rate. Hi, my name is Nurliana Inshira and I will elaborate the hypothesis. First, there is a positive relationship between a person's level of motivation and their daily life productivity, implying that greater motivation is correlated with better daily productivity. Second, implementing particular motivation boosting methods and techniques may result in higher productivity, showing that motivation is capable of being proactively maintained and developed. Third, people who acknowledge and comprehend the relationship between motivation and achievement in various life domains are prone to establish and accomplish significant objectives, proving the significance of motivation in various aspects of life. Fourth, Various variables, which include the environment, society, and personal factors, have an enormous effect on the person's daily motivation, proving that an extensive comprehension of all of these factors is essential to encouraging sustained motivation. Lastly, examining and applying both traditional and innovative techniques for motivation can result with higher encouragement for others as well as oneself showing an opportunity for various strategies in stimulating motivation in both individuals and organizations. Significance of the study. This study is significant as it provides an understanding of the factors that contribute to individual behavior and accomplishment. Next, this study is significant to help all parties, including people, organizations, as well as society, since it is a topic that involves in our daily life. By understanding motivation, it allows people to increase their work efficiency through recognizing and utilizing the forces that motivate them. Knowing this relationship promotes growth in one's personality, job achievement, and overall satisfaction that lead to personal well-being and societal productivity. Other than that, this study also gives an awareness and insight to people to cultivate their motivation towards life productivity in order to achieve life satisfaction and improve their fulfillment to achieve goals. Lastly, this study can create a productive and positive atmosphere since everyone has encouraging motivation for growth and development. Hello everyone, my name is Tuna Balkis and I'm going to present about the scope of the study. Today, let's dive into our study on motivation and life productivity. We are exploring motivational theory, digging into how they impact personal growth. But it's not just theory. We're also checking our, our practical method to boost productivity in work, education, and personal development. We are also unraveling the relationship between goal setting, motivation, and overall life happiness. 
because understanding how these pieces fit together is the key to living a more fulfilled life. In a nutshell, we are breaking down motivation, sharing tips for real life improvement, and connecting the dots for a happier life. That's all for me. Thank you. As for the experimental design, there are several variables influence the complex link between life productivity and motivation. Although more motivation usually has a favorable correlation with higher production, this relationship is not always easy to understand. External factors that may help or harm the development of motivation into increased productivity include the work environment, resources, and support. Individual variables such as personality traits and coping techniques add to the difficulty of this attachment. Furthermore, a key factor in determining the overall influence on motivation and ensuing productivity is the efficacy of treatments such as goal-setting techniques or mindfulness programs. While short-term increases in motivation may result in productivity advantages right away, long-term maintenance of these changes will require consistent work and flexible approaches. Hi, my name is Nur Sabrina and today I will explain about population. Our target population includes students and workers. Based on my research from Blogspot by the motivational speaker, only 50% of workers worldwide report feeling motivated while working, while 50 to 70% of students are highly motivated at school. Next, I will be explaining the sampling technique. Based on my research, there is one sampling technique that has been used, which is the certified random sample technique. Student data is collected from a variety of academic levels such as freshman, junior, senior, undergraduate, postgraduate, and others. While workers' data gathered according to different industries, for example, technology, education, healthcare, finance, and other than that. I'm going to talk about instrumentation for data collection. Presenting a survey probing the link between motivation, life productivity, and the goal of student and workers. This is a yes or no question will tackle achievement, challenge, and goal influencer. Number one, the connection between motivation and life productivity. Number two, strategy for sustained motivation in achieving goal. Number three, factor impacting personal goal. Rest, rest assured, respondent info stay anonymous and confidential. No frill, just the fact. I'm going to talk about data analysis technique. I will study correct data for various sources through a survey. We asked about external factors influencing motivation, the choice of sharing goals, celebrating achievement, reviewing challenges, challenges, and establishing a boundary between personal and professional life. Notably, as correlate with preference for setting clear boundary. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Hana and I will be elaborating on the expect expectancies and expected skills and competencies in motivation and life productivity. So first things first, what is a skill? A skill is the ability to bring about consistent results reliably. And comp uh, next, competency uh, is something that allows general problem solving in any situation. So why is having a skill important or any skill? Uh, because it could develop coping mechanisms for healthy growth and also transitions. For, for example, from childhood to adulthood. It could also support resilience, healthy development, and also productive coping strategies. So, uh, one of the so there there are uh, some skills and competencies expected in having motivation in life productivity. The first thing is social competence. But, uh, if we have a uh, social competence. It could help us have effective communication, teamwork, and also develop empathy. Next, having problem-solving skills are also important 
in uh, managing in uh, increasing our motivation and life productivity because it uh, increases critical thinking decision making creativity and so on self motivation is also an important uh thing to to have because it could help us uh, satisfy our internal rewards so we enjoy learning things instead of seeing it as a task or a burden personal management is also important uh, example is managing our time stress organizing our tasks to help us manage time and reduce stress next is study skills this skill could help students in uh, developing efficient learning strategies and um, help us understand the subject more deeply. Uh, next is career management. Career management helps us align our career choices with the needs and market trends. Uh, in our country so uh, this is important because uh, we should uh, uh, we should this is really important to increase our motivation and life productivity okay the last one but definitely not the least is self having self-concept this is really important because by having self-concept, we could understand our strengths, our weaknesses, our values, our and our beliefs. So, life skills are actually pretty important and very crucial for healthy growth, resilience, and success in all aspects of life. By developing these skills and competencies, individuals can become more productive, adaptable and fulfilled in production of motivation and life productivity. Thank you. This is our Gantt chart which includes the list of activity planning along with their period of time to be done. For the first three days, we plan the instrumentation for data collection. Then. We took four days to determine the specific topic and targeted population of our study. After that, we collected data using online resources for 10 days. The process of analyzing issues related to the study took us a week to be done. Three days later, we obtained the result of the study. And lastly, we managed to complete the final report of the study in the next three days. As for the proposed budget or any other sources required, they are not applicable in this study.